I'm trying to film a video about, about, about spoons. Spoons? Yeah. Like been, this shiny thing no, right here? No, I don't even know what that is. Tell them about the spoon, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to tell, tell them about the spoon if you can know. Tell them. Skip Jack Hunter. Tell them about the spoons. <laughs> What's up, Skip Jack Hunters? This is your boy, the Skip Jack Hunter. And today we're going to talk about using spoons to catch skipjacks. Um, if you have been, if you stay in the Columbus area, you know the water is kind of high right now and it's muddy and uh, yeah, kind of nasty out there. But catfish are biting, so if you want to, if you're a cat fisherman, by all means get out there and jump on those catfish. Skipjacks are being caught, but not in high numbers. I went out a couple of times, only got one, but. There are people catching skipjacks, but I haven't heard of a lot of people catching a lot of them. But they're starting. They're getting up here, so things are going to start picking up. And before we get started, I'm going to leave two links in the description section. Basically, it's going to be the Georgia Power Link, so you can see the current for the dams, so you can see how the water is running. So you can know when the water is going to be high and when it's going to be low. That kind of makes a difference. Cause some people like to go fishing when there's more current. Because that gets the striped bass and the hybrids moving. And catfish kind of bite, bite better when that current is high. Skipjacks, they bite in either one. It all depends. I like to target them when the water is lower. If you've seen most of my videos, you know it's kind of my preferred time to go fishing for them. But anyways, let's get into spoons. Um, spoons are kind of fun. They are, I guess, a common thing you got to worry about when you go fishing for skipjacks with spoons. When you hook up with a skipjack, you need to constantly reel. Don't leave any slack because if you hook up with a skipjack on a spoon, they're going to throw it if you put slack in your line. So you want to keep that line tight. So that's very important. Um, one thing I kind of like to use is the casting spoons. These you can get them cheap at Walmart or, you know, it doesn't matter what brand as long as you find a good spoon. Um, this is a one fourth ounce. So I like one fourth in going down. Um, I try to stay away from the three eight ounce spoons. These are better for your stripes and hybrids. Uh, what happens a lot of times, these big spoons, they will miss a lot of hits. And uh, kind of lose a lot on these 3 8 ounces. You really don't need big spoons because what happens, they sink. With this, the trolling spoons are pretty good because they flash. But these jigging spoons, if I can grab one, these right here. You got to be careful about getting big ones because what happens, you don't want your spoon to fall too quick. You want that spoon to, you want it. Kind of this jerk, just like a spinner. I just like spoons because it's all metal and it gives more flash. But you don't want it to. You don't want to get these big three eighth ounce and these those big heavy spoons because they fall quick. You're bringing up those skipjacks when they try to bite things. They're coming up this way. They're arcing. Sometimes they'll hit it sideways. But when if your spoon spoon is falling and they're coming up, you know they're gonna miss that. So you definitely want to. Go smaller on the spoon. So, you know, your basic spoon, jigging spoons, um, casting spoons, or cast masters, and your, what's the name, your trolling spoons. If I'm saying those wrong, let me know in the comments, and I will may rectify that. You know, you can get one, some spoons with feathers. These work pretty good. I mean, it really doesn't make a difference if it has feathers or not. They just want to see this flash. So, um, it's kind of a big thing about spoons. Basically, keep your line tight. Um, don't go heavy. Try to go small. You can throw these on light tackles, spinning rods, um, bait casters. You definitely want to make sure your bait caster can either throw that one-fourth size spoon. If not, you may just go with three-eighths. Just keep pranking. But the thing I know is about bait casters and spoons, you definitely that bait caster will take that line up real quick. On a skipjack, and sometimes it'll. You gotta keep keep in touch tune with it, cause if that line slacks, you're gonna you're gonna lose those skipjacks every time. So 
So, um, that's pretty much it about spoon. Just don't, yeah, don't get a big spoon and keep your line tight. And small is better. So, hopefully next week the conditions will improve and I'll get into some skipjacks because next week, that's it. Skipjack fishing, no bluegill fishing or anything. That's the focus. So, you know, keep fishing, y'all. Persistence pays off, and um, hopefully those skipjacks, they will get up here in this water, and we'll get right, and we will stop with this rain that just, for some reason, doesn't want to end. It just, just when you think it's about the end, it just comes back, so, yeah. But if you're catfishing, you're loving this. So, y'all have a good night, y'all, and persistence pays off.